it's Mani and Belisi here. We're, we're talking about um, Unit 9, um, which introduces you to what the book calls contract verbs. Um, a contract verbs are just a class of, of, um, of verbs that are derived from nouns or adjectives, what linguists call denominative verbs. A denominative verb is a verb derived from a noun or an adjective, as it says on Belisi's um, chalkboard. And, um, examples of denominative verbs in English, there are tons of them, um, and different ways of making them. For example, you can take a, a lot of nouns in English, like computer, and add I-Z-E to it, and you make it into a verb. So there's computer, computerize. Um, um, or uh, another one is ify, I-F-Y, um, um, clarify from cl clear. Um, is a, another example that comes by way of French. Um, there, an older one is how you make a noun out of the out of a verb out of the noun friend. And the old way of doing that was befriend. Um, so, so there are a whole set of processes for doing this, things like that in English, and there are about a bunch of them in Greek. Um, well, what we're about to learn in the next two units is the way it works for. The three sets of nouns or adjectives that um, are, are uh, common in Greek: first and second declension um, nouns and, and adjectives. Then we're going to start with uh, verbs derived from the class of nouns that are in the first declension. That is, the ones that you learned that are nouns of the techne or the falota type. So the the first noun, the exemplary noun that we learned, is the noun tibe. Um, which has a long iota too, uh, as well as an eta, and it means honor or prestige, big concept for Greeks. And so here you see the simple way of making a, a verb out of that in English is I, it has, there's the noun honor and the verb to honor someone, just like you can do that with friend on Facebook. Friend, I am your friend, but you, I want to friend you. Okay. So when you make the noun out of Time, it uses the older form of the noun, that is, before the alpha changed into an eta, and so you get timao. That's the form that you see in the vocabulary, um, but it's not the actual form that you'll actually see in a text. The reason that the vocabulary spells out timao is because you, you, in order to understand what kind of a, what the inflection of it is, you need to see the first person singular and to lay bare the the ending, the alpha ending, or that can be an epsilon or an omicron, as we've already learned, that the omega actually contracts with. Contracts meaning when two vowels that are not diphthongs become one vowel. So the actual form that you see is not timao, but timo, the circumflex over the omega. Maybe you can see why I have a circumflex, because remember in the circumflex the pitch rises and falls. Okay, rises and what is it? And going backwards. But anyway, it rises and falls, and so there was an acute on the alpha when it coalesced uh, uh, with the omega, on which the pitch fell, right? Remember the pitch falls on the successive, on the syllable after the omega. You get a, a rising and a falling tone on the combination. So alpha plus omega gives you omega with the circumflex. So the book uh, will give you on page 232, if you want to look at it, how to how to get from the uh, inflected forms, which were originally timao, timaes, timae, timaomen, timaeta, timaose, by a set of contract rules, and, and puts them on the page, top of page 232, and it's a nightmare to learn and look at, okay? Um, there's a very simple principle that's operative here, and, and here, here's what it is. The, the basic structure of the Greek verb is you have a stem, a thematic vowel, and an ending. Okay, um, and you know, I'll remember how this works. Remember, you can see the thematic of vowel in Greek, Greek forms most clearly in the imperfect, where you have an alternation of the for the persons like this. You want to make a little table, singular and plural, first, second, and third persons, um, and, and and it goes like this. In the first person, the thematic vowel is o. The second person, it's e, and the third person, it's p again. In the singular. In the plural, it's well, the first person is O, the second one is E, and the third one is O. Okay, so it's O E E, O E O. 
And what happens with these alpha contract verbs is you, know, you can make maybe a parallel table to that one. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the con alpha contract verbs, instead of having alternation between omicron and epsilon, you have an alternation between omega and long alpha. So what we have omega in, in uh, omicron rather in, in regular verbs, you have an omega, and then in, in the second person you have a long alpha, and the third person you also have a long alpha. And, and the plural, and that means just the same way. And omega, long alpha, and omega again, okay? And so maybe we'll replace the, uh, there you go. Long alpha plural and long alpha, and the alpha contract singulars. So um, it's true that where you, 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 in addition to having the long alpha, you're going to have an iota subscript okay in some of these forms where you have an iota in the second and the third person singular because the iota has to be part of the equation that is you originally had a long alpha followed by an iota so in the second and the third person singular you're going to have alpha long alpha with an iota subscript okay in the, in the present forms but the general rule that's just for the present forms where the ending features this EI form, okay, it's better to kind of remove that iota from the actual um, listing of the, of the whole sequence. But that's the key. You could sum it up by saying uh, um, E over O, why don't you put that up there, E slash O transforms into, so it's like an arrow, um, um, uh, long alpha over omega, okay? Um, and that's the heart of the matter. So and that's the best way to learn these forms. And when it comes to the imperfect, if you think about L1, LOS, LOE, you're going to have eti mon, eti mas, eti ma. When you have elemen, elotet, elote, L1 in the third person plural, you're going to have the same alternation between not long enough, but, um, so it, it will become in the plural eti monen, eti monte, eti mon. Okay? It, I think it simplifies the whole process to understand this. So that's the key thing. That's the end of our first video.